Okay, so this is the process, getting down into the, some of the nitty gritty. Uh, so there's a 772 request for egg application. Um, that can be found on our website, um, wildlife.ca.gov, um, in backslash CAEP. So here's a picture of what the application looks like. This is a 772 um, authorization to transport and rear eggs. All the stuff up here on the top, pretty self-explanatory, your name, email, school name, school mailing address, uh, zip code, et cetera, school info. And as for sale or alternate phone, um, we don't necessarily need that, but if you're working with your sponsor, I would seriously consider giving that to them. Um, they're, the, they're gonna be the ones who you contact first if there's issues like, my water just raised you know, eight degrees overnight, like what do I do? Uh, those are going to be the person that you send that text to or you send that call to. Um, then your sponsor organization, if you do species request, it's going to be Chinook salmon. The size of the aquarium is going to be 10 gallons. We all have 10 gallon tanks um, and you're all going to get 35 eggs. So you're all going to month and, eggs, month and year the eggs are wanted. Post release location. The site, because it also asks for a site, you have um, numerous options for the site. There's a spot for your supervisor or principal has to be signed. If it's not signed, we won't accept it. We're gonna scan the application. Do not fax it. I will throw the fax away with glee. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do not mess with the fax. Um, don't snail mail it. That's, I mean, just scanning it makes it so much easier for you. You guys know when you sent it, you got, a, you got evidence that you sent it at a specific time and exactly who you sent it to and we know that we receive it and we get to keep it electronically and it helps the process. So a lot of scanners, and we have scanners like this too, um, if you, you can scan it and email it directly to a website from the scanner, um, a lot of times those don't work. We have our IT people put fire blocks or firewalls on, on our system so that we our email accounts won't receive those from this kind of anonymous um, scanner. So a lot of times those don't work, so I wouldn't try it. Um, photos. Don't take a photo, don't send us a JPEG. They're hard, they're pixelated, they're hard to read. Uh, we won't accept them. Um, and if it's incomplete, if it's not signed or there's information that's missing, well, we're not gonna accept it. We'll let you guys know, like, hey, this needs a signature, or this isn't complete, redo it, send it back. Um, you need to scan it for yourself and then email it later. Yes, yeah, send it from your, your work email or personal email, something like that. Um, this is the email that you send it to r2cape, C-A-E-P, at wildlife.ca.gov. At that point, that's when you begin to set up your tank, you're working with your sponsor, uh, getting your equipment. And all that say is, you know, I, I just, I think you guys would do well. Um, I'm, I'm very optimistic of that.